The Omicron variant is fueling concerns all across the country, including North Texas. Thousands of people rushed to testing sites before and after the holidays. And David Goins shows us why those long lines may be here to stay. It's kind of deja vu all over again. And what evokes memories of the early months of the pandemic. North Texans lined up Sunday in their vehicle waiting for a COVID-19 test. It's going berserk. Before you dismiss that as hyperbole, consider this. Dr. Martin McAlier has operated this mobile testing site off the Dallas North Tollway since COVID took hold 21 months ago. The medical director of Neighborhood Medical Center in Addison moved quickly from car to car, fitting for a variant fueled on quick and effective person-to-person -person transmission. McAlier says the positivity rate on tests here Sunday climbed to 30 percent, nearly one in three. We've got people streaming in all day long. Some are symptomatic, some are not symptomatic, but very, very high positivity rate. People have stopped wearing their masks. They stopped being cautious. They're fatigued with the whole thing, and they're getting out there, being around people, and they're just spreading it like wildfire. McAlier says the spreading has hit his staff as well, saying wait times for a rapid test on Sunday was around three to four hours. That's only gone up because he's struggling to keep his employees from either burning out or testing positive. Testing demand also peaked at the height of the Delta variant in early September, but McAlier says he's already noticing key differences with Omicron. It doesn't seem quite as severe in the patients that we're seeing. However, the volume, it just has expanded so quickly. It's not a slow ramp up, it's just gone like a rocket ship straight up. With Dallas County testing locations closed until the new year, McAlier says he expects long lines every day for at least the next two to three weeks. Hmm. And that was David Goins for us.